Lesson number 11, everything is on time. Just believing that truly, because I think factually it is, but we tend to confuse ourselves and distract ourselves and uh, look at other people and make comparisons and, and, and feel sorry about ourselves or whatnot. If you just believe everything is on time, you'll find peace in that. Nothing comes before time, nothing comes after time. If you're not succeeding, if you're failing, that's a lesson. Only by failing, you will learn those lessons to then achieve a level of success that is sustainable. God or whatever the higher power is, doesn't want you to have an overnight success or win a lottery and win that kind of money or whatever it may be that you can't sustain, right? So everything is on time. Whatever you're going through is you're meant to go through that. You're supposed, you're destined to go through that to reach where you, you're supposed to reach. And when you reach to that place, you'll have the most profound realization that everything that unfolded up until now was supposed to go the way it went and you'll feel gratitude towards it. It's crazy, right? I mean, uh, just speaking about our journey as well, and especially mine, I've already talked to you about it, about my professional career as well. It's just insane. Guys, this is absolutely true, 100%. It's just a, it's just a game of patience. So the power of experiences um, on friendship, uh, I think this is something we talked about when we were talking to Kika, and uh, it's something beautiful. I think you would also 100% agree now that if a friendship goes through and struggles, it's it just becomes something else, you know? Uh, th there's a hormone, I forgot the name, I'm going to butcher it. I'm not even going to take the name, but there's a hormone that releases when a relationship, be it a friendship or any sort of relationship... Okay. Yes, 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 yes. It's it's just a binding hormone that basically binds. Uh, I don't know how it works biologically, but it just binds you to that person. And uh, having experiences with your friends or, like I said, any other relationship, it just takes it to a whole new other level. So go out with your friends. Try to do as crazy uh, things as possible, as riskiest things as possible. Of course, while being safe. And, you know, just uh, elevate, try and keep elevating your relationships. Oh, amazing. 100% uh, like association in, in Hinduism and Buddhism, they talk about this a lot. Association, the people you associate to and you surround yourself with is the biggest thing that has the most amount of influence over you. Uh, the, the energy that transfers from that level of association is not within your conscious control or within your conscious mind on a subconscious level it changes everything so yeah the people you associated associate with the people you hang out with will do make a tremendous difference and doing it in the right way then that both of you will sort of like grow together and form that deeper connection okay amazing point number lesson number 13 focus on systems over goals Alex Hermosi says this, that you fall to the level of your systems, not to the level of your goals. You can set as high of a goal as you can. Doesn't mean you're going to reach it, but systems are what your baseline is, what you keep falling back on. So every time you keep falling back and you have those systems in place to keep moving you forward again and again, eventually you will reach your goals. So focus on building systems that are efficient, that are meant to guide you to the direction of your goals. Uh, and eventually you will reach those goals, just having that clarity and then working on building those systems instead of just constantly focusing on a on a goal because that puts you in the mindset that you don't have it it puts you in the mindset of uh scarcity of uh, uh not having a certain things instead of abundance uh so yeah build systems over goals Ramit, i think um I, I we've found it you know i always used to think how people are successful how do they achieve you know the things that they do and we were recently talking about this during our internal meeting as well. It has always been systems. Um, 
my personal anecdote i am a, i'm a manager i'm responsible for around nine people and i've seen it firsthand if there are no systems in place then the whole thing falls apart it there's it's a waste of time repetitive task no future planning no vision and you don't achieve the goal as per quality and i think this is something for wiser as well that we we keep talking about we do have a system but sometimes it's also the discipline of following that system as well so yeah you 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 might come up with the most uh, elaborate plan elaborate framework but again you also need to have that discipline and this is where discipline actually comes in you know doing the thing that you set out at that particular deadline and doing it properly so guys uh, i personally think i'm just taking a minute to reiterate this point but i 150% absolutely this is it if you have a system for life for work etc etc even your relationships and everything it will work out it will work out all right so coming to the next point and uh, which is again which ties in very very nicely which is um something that parmeet also said which is true happiness lies in hard work and this is also it um you take all of the top actors scientists etc athletes entrepreneurs etc etc it's just their happiness is in hard work they they truly love working hard you know whenever you talk to them their whole demeanor their whole body language is just about i love doing this i love what i do and that is why they're able to do this week on week day on day year on year month on month without fail and with just a smile on their face uh one nuance to this is that they they also don't think that it's a job but they rather take that as a career so is very important that you find a career but rather than a job a job is something that you can be doing you know you can be a sweeper at mcdonald's or a burger flipper at burger king but a career is something that is with you for life so i think that's why they enjoy the hard work so just a little bit of nuance amazing uh lesson number 15 consistency is key albert einstein said the power of compound those who understand it earn from it and those who he said compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world those who understand it earn from it and those who don't understand it pays it right small efforts every day it doesn't matter how much of an how big of an effort it is as long as you put in as long as you take that first step every day every day after 365 days it'll add up to be so 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 much more be it going to the gym for 5 minutes doing one extra rep picking up the book and reading one book waking up waking up 5 minutes earlier anything as uh, james clear also talks about it in his book called atomic habits which is basically this just doing that little extra bit consistently over time will amount to so much more if you're not aware of compound interest go on google find a calculator if you put in let's say $5000 and you're putting in uh, every month $100 you'll probably be a millionaire in, in i don't know how many years but you can check this out and that's the power of the compound interest you, the money or whatever the effort the hard work it just amplifies and amplifies the growth is exponential right So that's point lesson number fifteen, bro. There's no way that we didn't coordinate this because the next point is just insane. Um, is something that Ashan said, which is happiness. Finding happiness is work every day, and again, it, it ties in very nicely with the whole compound thing. And by the way, we're going to add the graph as well so that you guys can also have that visualization. But yeah, it's uh what As Ashana said as well. You know, every day. just try to do those little little things you know self love gratitude meditation working out eating the right things consuming the right information and you know you will i mean happiness is a state of mind as well like uh, we've always talked about but again just uh, being happy is work every day it especially in this day and age it does take effort but uh, absolutely right you know and if you do this like bami said the, the power of compound kicks in you know you'll be happy but you will be happier 
uh, when weeks and months and years go by so this is something absolutely we've uh, we've also seen with our lives as well throughout this uh, journey from wiser together as well and all the things that we've learned certainly and this one sentence uh, really helped me understand this so perfectly which was happiness not is not a destination it's a direction it's not something you arrive at it's something you it's something you choose to do every day right it takes effort it takes work every day the days i don't meditate and don't put in that self love i see how it how those days are different from it so your destination where you arrive may not be in your control but your direction is in your control every day and so is happiness uh so yeah choose the right direction and you'll get to the right destination eventually okay amazing lesson number 17 be curious i think this is so important and people don't really understand the importance of this to the level they should uh any sort of creator inventor leader who's changed the world they have this level of curiosity uh to find out to figure out to do things in newer better different ways than they have been before they have the courage uh the inner drive to challenge the status quo and out of 100 people doing the same thing just one person think oh why are they doing it this way like is there a different way that this would be done that one person who's led by that curiosity within that oh there can be a different better or uh, just a different way of doing this will take you to places you unknown places unknown places and those unknown places always help you grow uh, so yeah be absolutely curious. and when you're when you're curious and when you're practicing all of these things that we've talked about you will be a little unorthodox you will be a little different from the society and this is where my good friend parmeet kumar also said that while you're doing all of these things don't let the crabs bring you down all right so <laughs> there's a is an amazing analogy that parmeet uh, talked about and he said that you know there's a bucket and it is filled with crabs you know and if one crab is just trying to get away from that bucket you know just think of bucket like your life right now and you just trying to break away from the conventional life and trying to do something good for yourself there are going to be crabs that are trying to you know like they will grab on your tiny little uh, crab leg and will try to pull you down so don't let them pull you down keep trying to climb outside of the bucket and uh, i would just like to add one more thing that um my 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 boss also told me uh, is that you know in an organization or a company or while you're working with people don't pull them down but rather push them up you know if you have a boss or if you have anyone who is at a senior position than you or let's say um you know who's doing better than you in life try to push them up right try to take their place and while you're doing that they will also try to do the same thing with the people above them so instead of like we you know like us having society where everyone is trying to pull everyone down you end up with a society where everyone is trying to replace them but in, in an upward trajectory 